welcome back to my channel it's uh it's a beautiful sunny day and so in my wisdom i thought i would do my aldi grocery haul out in the garden this wasn't wise really because now all the frozen stuff is defrosting in the sunshine all over the table so what i'm going to do is i'm going to talk about the frozen stuff first so that i can wipe that into the freezer and uh then then we'll do the rest so um, the reason I'm doing an Aldi grocery haul, which is not something I usually do on my channel, I do B&M hauls and home bargains, but I don't usually do just my ordinary shopping. And the reason I'm doing it is because I have done a shop very much with my calorie controlled diet in mind today. And so I thought it might be interesting to anyone who's following calorie controlled diet to see what I've bought. It might be boring as heck, in which case, sorry about that. But we will begin with stuff that isn't even for me, actually. I did buy two bags of frozen chips. I bought a bag of frozen french fries and a bag of steak cut chips. So the french fries are 75 pence in Aldi. Um, these, are these are Natalie's. Natalie likes a thin chip. And then I bought steak cut chips which are 105. Anthony likes a fat chip. So um, Natalie's going to pop these in the freezer I think, aren't you love? Yeah. Yeah. And so while she's in the freezer she can also put away my steam fresh veg. I really like this. It's convenient i'm quite often cooking for just me natalie works funny shifts so she's often not here often not here for meals anthony officially doesn't live here so he's not here for meals and plus neither of them are particularly excited about veg you're a veg avoider aren't you no, I like broccoli and cornflour. Oh, it's broccoli and cornflour, that's it. But these steam bags are ready in two and a half minutes and there are four in there and they cost some money they cost one pound and five for four bags so i think they're really good value calorie wise for the calorie controlled portion of the video because like i said the chips weren't actually for me they are 82 calories per sachet so perfectly reasonable there's those and then the other last freezer thing that i bought was a bag of diced onions and that's for sheer laziness again for when it's just me that i'm cooking for when i when i don't need a whole onion or whatever so the diced onions are oh they were they're not on there they must be there somewhere everything came through the till so i know i didn't steal them Oh, vegetables chopped. They're called vegetables chopped on the receipt. They were 69p. And then the next stuff I'll do will be the fridge stuff, which is actually a lot of it. So that's we can take that away as well. It really wasn't a good idea to sit in the garden and do this. My meat is cooking in the sun. I bought a massive pack of steak mints. That's a kilo of 5% fat lean beef mints. Um, that is 126 calories per 100 grams. So that's 1,260 calories in there, isn't there? That seems a lot, but there is a lot of it. There is a lot of it. Um, I'm going to make a massive bolognese and portion it down like I did a couple of weeks ago, which means that when I am in a hurry for a quick no-think meal, I've got a portion of bolognese in the freezer. So a kilo of steak mints was 4 .79. So yeah, 5% fat, lean beef mints, £4.79 for a kilo. Also for the fridge, I bought some of these 5% fat burgers. I've seen these mentioned on a couple of... Um, calorie counting Instagram accounts and things like that and so I thought I'd give these a go. Um, I did buy um, muffins but I didn't really buy those. I might put them in the flatbreads, I'll show you the flatbreads in a minute. So these are 120, 128 calories each burger. They're just for me, I'm going to hide those in the fridge where nobody can find them. Not that Natalie wants calorie controlled food but... I don't really like beef burgers, you're pretty good. Yeah. Cod fillets, I thought I'd have fish for my dinner tonight. These are 275, two boneless cod fillets calorie wise they work out as 69 calories per 100 grams the pack is 250 grams so there's 69 times two and a half there's there's the 100 140 140 140 um and and half and 35 175 calories in that entire packet look at that instant mass like you wouldn't believe not i will steam that and i will have it with some miniature potatoes and one of those bags of steamed veg we saw a minute ago the miniature potatoes were 65 pence um i like the fact that they failed to grow their potatoes to a decent size and so they've decided to market them as miniature in case they like like they meant it that way so that will make a really low calorie dinner if i have steamed potatoes steamed fish and a bag of those veg that'll be a really nice low calorie evening meal because everybody else is out and about tonight and it's just me eating get the ham off the table because that oh that's actually open it smells okay maybe it burst open on the way home doesn't smell like it's been open for a while uh, a pack of seven slices of cooked ham in aldi is one pound 19 for seven slices of ham right that can all go in the fridge now if you wouldn't mind while she's off to the fridge i will send her with my coconut and vanilla yogurt i fancied that to have my with my fruit um this is fat free 
and it is 85 pence and it's also 85 calories per third of a pot. I wouldn't have a third of a pot in one go. It's 57 calories per 100 grams, so that'll be quite nice on fruit. Speaking of fruit, I picked up a fruit salad, which I'm going to have as an afternoon snack later on today. This was 85 pence. Not really bad considering what I've been paying for fruit for ready-made fruit salads elsewhere. Uh, amount per 80 gram serving. Is it an 80 gram serving? It's not. It's 200 grams. So now, now see that, I would look at that and I would go, well, that's plainly a serving of a fruit salad, isn't it? Apparently 80 grams of that is a serving. So that means it's a 200 gram packet. There's not even three servings in the packets. Why do, why do they work out? Why do they go 80, 80 grams? Ridiculous. They're saying less than half of that packet. You know, I, I, it's, that annoys me. That boils me. But per 100 grams, it's 54 calories. So the entire pack, 208 calories. No, 108 calories. Dodgy maths again. I also picked up, which is going to go in the fridge while it's sitting and sweating, two bags of ready-made salad. I realise this seems extravagant to buy ready-made salad when you can just buy lettuce and chop it up but I found that I wasn't chopping it up um, I was just forgetting it was there it was going in the bin so that was more wasteful so the sweet leaf salad and the mixed leaf salad they are 57 pence and 55 pence respectively so um, just a bit, a bit of a difference as well having the two different bags means I'm not having the same stuff on my plate all the time I think it's becoming more and more obvious that I need to introduce variety if I'm not going to be bored with what I'm eating. I picked up some more cotton candy grapes. I got some of these from Tesco the other day. I think they're about two pounds in Tesco. Um, they were only 1.69 in Aldi, so that's a bit of a difference. I really liked those when I had them the other day. I don't think they taste remotely like cotton candy, candy floss. I don't think they taste at all like that, but they are nice. Um, they definitely were sweet. And then I also picked up some strawberries. These ones look like they've only just reached ripeness, which I'm finding if I buy ones that look like they're already ripe, then they're gone off the next day. So I was quite happy with these. These are 109, that's uh, 227 grams. And some mushrooms. I'm going to use mushrooms in my bolognese, which I'm gonna make. And I also like to have them with my breakfast. Mushrooms are incredibly low, low in calories and give you a bit of bulk. They're 95 pence for that box of mushrooms. Speaking of my bolognese, I decided I would cheat and buy a jar of ready-made sauce. Purely convenience. Uh, I looked at the calories on the jar. The entire jar is under 200 calories. It's 46 calories per quarter of a jar. So 46 times 2, 92, 180 or 184 calories for the whole jar. By the time I've added that to my mince portion it down, I'm gonna feel, I, I feel that's fine. I'll probably add a little bit of tomato puree to give it a bit more depth of flavour. I always add a dash, dash of Worcester sauce to everything. I think that's, um, that's standard. I bought some garlic flakes because ours are dried up in the jar. Not dried up, wetted up, dampened in the jar. They won't come out of the jar. So my bolognese will be my mince, my mushrooms, the bolognese sauce, garlic granules and onions. You have to have onions in a bolognese. Even if even if I bought a ready-made sauce, I still add various bits of my own veg to it to um, to improve it. So the onions were 52p and the garlic flakes 45p. Bargain prices at Aldi, I have to say. I went to the Henbury Aldi. If you're in, if you live in Bristol, you'll know the various areas. I live in Southmead. The Southmead Aldi is very small. I was saying to Natalie on the way home, it was built many years ago. It's one of the first Aldis. There were only two Aldis in Bristol when this one was built. Um, it was back in the days when you get beans for 3p. That's how long ago it was. That would have been, I would have been about 19, I think. So probably nearly 30 years ago. And it was built before Aldi was a massively popular chain. And so it's not very big. The one in Hembury is a purpose-built one that's only been there about five years or so, and it's huge. The aisles are large, it's airy, you don't feel hemmed in. Our one, you feel hemmed in. It's very difficult to social distance effectively in our one because the aisles are quite narrow, but the Hembury one, much better. So I enjoyed my trip there today. Well done, Hembury Aldi. Not that they're watching. I bought some Penguin Minis. These are 90 calories per little bag. There's six little bags in there, and I thought they would be a nice treat. Chocolate flavour biscuits with milk chocolate. I pres I've never had these. Obviously, I've had penguin bars many times. So it looks to me like they're, they are coated on one side. So um, they were... They were 75p. I thought that was quite good for six packets. Quite pleased with that. 
When I hit the bread aisle, it was muffins, because I'm going to show you something in a minute that made me buy the muffins. The toasting muffins are... Why can I not find anything on this receipt? 42p an Aldi for four of those. I will put them in the freezer, because um, they're for me only, and I'll only want one at a time, so they'll go in the freezer. And the reason I bought them was because in the middle aisle, where you normally come home with, you know, a, a MIG welder and a diving suit, or whatever the general joke is in the middle aisle i found this this is a microwave egg and bacon maker so you can see on the back that it intends to make you something that we will treat like a muffin so remove cover and egg holder place a folded piece of bacon in the silicon tray let's have a look shall we it does not come out of its packaging as easily as you might expect come on it's not playing nicely I will beat you. I'm there. We go. So let's try the instructions again. Remove cover and egg holder. There's cover. There's egg holder. Doesn't. Oh, there we go. Does that bit come off as well? Yep, that bit comes off as well. Okay. So now I've got a bit that looks like a soap dish. Uh, place a folded piece of bacon in the silicon tray. Folded piece of bacon. Replace egg holder, which she won't be able to do now because you know she's. Bust it. I'm not sure how that was clipped on. Oh, it's there. It goes. It goes underneath the silicon edge. There we go. Replace egg holder and cover. Cook bacon for 45 seconds at 100% power. Remove cover. Crack an egg inside the egg holder. Pierce the egg's yolk and wipe numerous times with a fork. Put the cover back on. I presume I leave that bit in. That's my egg lifting bit, isn't it? Yeah. Put the cover back on. Microwave bacon and egg for two minutes, 30 seconds at 50% power. I'm going to struggle with that bit because I don't actually know how to work my microwave. I only know how to press go. So I will actually have to find the instructions for my microwave to do the 50% power bit. Uh, instructions are based on a thousand watt microwave using an extra large egg. Adjust cooking times for how or lower wattage and egg size. So I'm going to have something that looks like a McDonald's muffin made in the microwave using this thing. This is the plan. Tune in to waffle at some point and you'll see whether it goes wrong or right. Okay. So that's why I bought that and that was three ninety nine. I'm a sucker for a, a kitchen gadget. I'm a sucker for, you know, a, a novelty item. Speaking of being a sucker, in the tills section I bought these. So while I was queuing to pay, I bought a bag of popcorn. This is 120 calories for the popcorn. And I bought a little treat bag of nuts and raisins. And that's 79 calories for that. Those are only 32 pence, which I thought was good. The popcorn was probably a million pounds. Where is it? Popcorn's 55 pence and 32 pence. But they're called pockets. 32 pence for that one. So that's a handy thing to have in your handbag for a snack, I thought. Although it probably won't get as far as my handbag. I'll probably eat it like today. I bought four bananas. I would have bought more, but these are the only four that were yellow. And I don't like to buy my bananas green. Does anybody else do that thing as well? If the bananas are in a box where you put your hand in, you think, oh, I hope there's not a spider. I hope there's not a massive foreign banana-eating spider sitting in there waiting to come home with me. Or is that just me? Um, so they were 52p for four bananas. And finally... Oh, no, not finally. Forgot the flatbreads. I bought flatbreads, and I think I'm going to try my burgers in these. So there's, there's six in the packet, and they're 112 calories each. So I thought I might try putting my burger in a flatbread rather than have a bread roll or whatever. And if it doesn't work, I won't try it again next time. Um, they're white. I don't know if they do wholemeal ones. I didn't see wholemeal ones, but those are white ones. And then finally, there's these bits. So I bought tins and pickled onions. And these are for a peculiar but effective recipe that I have done for years, ever since a long time ago when I did Slimming World the first time and somebody introduced me to it. And it's called Speed Soup. And into your speed soup you put two tins of carrots with the juice. You just blend all this. This is not actually the cooking process at this point. So you blend two tins of carrots with the juice, two tins of beans. And if you've got a small blender, you may have to do it in two lots. Two tins of chopped tomatoes. And they say five large pickled onions, but I've only got small ones. So I'll probably put eight or nine pickled onions. And I feel like there might be one other ingredient that I've forgotten which if I can remember I'll put it on the screen you blend all that then you cook it you just heat it through it makes a 
just like Heinz tomato soup. It's not just like Heinz, but it is a, makes a really, really nice tomato soup. And it's um, and they call it speed soup because it's almost it's free on Slum World, and almost you know almost no calories and um, and it's actually really tasty. That's it. There's no cooking involved. You just blend it and heat it and eat it. So um, so I'm going to make a big bunch of that, and that will make a massive panful, which I will um, batch down into freezer bags for a quick snack. That's it. I spent a total of thirty-two pound eighty-six. Um, I was saying to Natalie on the way home, I've been doing my shopping in Tesco recently because that's where mum goes and I take her. But when I look at what this lot cost me, it would have cost me way more than that in Tesco's, I'm sure. I might do a little bit of a price comparison and pop that on the screen for you as well, just out of interest. If you don't shop at Aldi, I heartily recommend it. Try and find a more recently built one if you want wider aisles. And um, thank you for watching this. I don't know whether it's been of interest to anyone or not, but thanks for watching. I hope you have enjoyed it. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, all of that good stuff. And I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.